Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the morning market stir for Monday, August 31st. What a wild and wacky week it was last week. Markets ended up finishing positive. On Friday, the S&P was relatively unchanged, up one point at 1990 on a closing basis. But stocks did recover on the five days, ended up being positive 1% in the S&P. Dow futures also gaining up 9. 16,659 was a close on Friday, a 1% jump on a weekly basis after that gap lower open on Monday. We did see recovery by week's end. The leader in the pack was tech, up 3% on a weekly basis, closing at 43.35, up 5 points. That gets back half of the losses from the week previous. The dollar was stronger, up 48 at 96.14, regaining that power, knocking that euro currency down again, down below the 112 level, 111.85, down 83 was Friday's close. On a weekly basis, that euro currency lost 135 points. The bond market sold back down as we saw that flight to quality unwind, ended up finishing down five points on Friday at 156.23. So we saw that sharp decline in yields in, at the beginning of the week, then it bounced back. Yields did climb back here at week, week's end. Uh, speaking of movers, crude oil. Crude oil was up at 265 on Friday, back above $45, believe it or not. 45.25 was a close. The gain for the week and that reversal after making lows, up 475 on a weekly basis. Big bounce once it got back above that 40 pivot. And gold on the decline, unwinding in that market as well, down $28 on a weekly basis, ended up finishing up 11 on Friday, getting back some lost ground, still above $1,100 an ounce, 11.34 was a close. So after the wild, wacky, volatile week last week, where did things stand here on this Monday morning to start a new trading week and to end the month of August? Well, we're giving back some of the gains. We're down 17 in the E-mini S&P at 1973, down 125 in the Dow Futures, 16,534, and down 31 in the NASDAQ in the early go at 4302. Looking at that dollar, we're down 12 points at 96, steady, and we've got the uh, euro currency at 112.09, up 24. Bonds are up 12 ticks at 157.02, and we've got the yields. If we look at those in comparison to where we were at the beginning of last week, we've had a, a nice little surge there in yields, 2.89 in the 30-year and 2.17 in the 10-year note. Remember, we went below 2% uh, when we had that little bit of a, a, a burst in the market there. The, the uh, crude market, 44.25, down a dollar, giving back some of that short covering bounce. We'll see what kind of follow through we get here in the next few sessions. And gold down $3, 11.31. So to wrap up this current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we're starting off the week with weakness, down 17 in the S&P, down 125 in the Dow, and down 31 in the NASDAQ with this rest of the session for the day to go to finish up the month of August. I will see you Tuesday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.